Welcome back to the Seeking for the Truth YouTube channel. The purpose of this video is for scriptural education on the origins of Halloween and we will also take a look at an excerpt of Pastor Gino Jennings' warning about the wickedness of Halloween. Halloween has its origins in the ancient Celtic festival of Samhain, celebrated over 2,000 years ago in what is now Ireland, the United Kingdom, and northern France. Samhain marked the end of the harvest season and the onset of winter, a time often associated with death and darkness. The Celts believed that on the night of October 31st, the boundary between the living and the dead was blurred, allowing spirits to return to the earth. To ward off these wandering spirits, the Celts would light bonfires and wear costumes made of animal skins. They offered sacrifices, and people would leave food and drink outside their homes to appease the spirits. Over the centuries, Halloween transformed into a more community-centered holiday, with activities such as trick-or-treating and festive gatherings. Today, it is celebrated in various ways around the world, blending ancient customs with modern traditions of costumes, parties, and spooky decorations. In the following excerpt Pastor Gino Jennings preached against this wicked holiday warning viewers that they shouldn't participate in these celebrations. He also told a comical story about, how his neighbors came to his house trick-or-treating looking for candy and he had to let them know he doesn't celebrate it at all. This lines up with scripture because we shouldn't strengthen the hand of those that are doing evil, even if it comes across as innocent to the eye. Jennings mentioned something that stood out to me, he stated if he had to hand out Bibles instead of candy they would look at him like he lost his mind. This is very true because not many people these days really have a hunger for God or research the holidays that they celebrate which is extremely dangerous from a spiritual perspective. Now let's dive into the excerpt. He observed time. He observed time. And used enchantment. He used witchcraft. And where God's people don't dabble in playing uh, with Ouija boards. That's right. That's not for God people. That's right. We don't, uh, we don't wear clothes that uh, have an emblem of a skull and crossbones. We don't wear that. No. Not for God's people. That's right. We don't play with Ouija boards and all of that foolishness. Uh, we don't celebrate Halloween. We don't yeah. trick or treat. Amen. Amen. We don't, uh, we don't have no candy. And if someone knocks on your door and you give candy to, uh, to the wicked. <laughs> Amen. That's right. As anytime anyone out there trick or treating, they're wicked. They're wicked. If your mother got you out there, your mama's wicked and your wicked daddy. That's right. Amen. So when you got people, you don't do that. No. You don't do that at all. Many times the neighbors knock on my door <laughs> and I open the door. I, I don't keep up with these holidays and I didn't know what they was knocking for that time of night. <laughs> open the door and a bunch of young children with their parents grinning. <laughs> <laughs> Glory to God. And hey man, here I'm eating dinner and you disturbing my good food. <laughs> knocking on my door, holding out trash bags. <laughs> That's right. Man. That's right. <laughs> Grinning, I said. That's right. How about trick or treat? I opened the door. Trick or treat. I, I forgot what that stuff was. Mm -hmm. I told him, I don't celebrate this. I ain't got nothing to give you. Nothing. <laughs> That's One right. little child said to me some time ago, Mister, you don't have nothing. I looked at him and said, Nothing. <laughs> eh, be gone. Be gone, I said. That's right. Never, ever come back. That's right. Now, I guarantee if I gave out little Bibles, they'd look at me like I lost my mind. <laughs> Even the parents would say, we can't eat this. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Taste the Lord. That's right. The word that God is see that is good. That's right. And then once we take the contents of that meat and break it down, the lowest common denominator, the word that God, the smallest child, can find it digestible. That's right. All right. Until now, I forget many of these holidays exist until I see these decorations. On people's houses. Hey, viewers, yeah. viewers, you got scarecrows on your house, on your door now? Hmm. Pumpkins. Pumpkins. Uh huh. Yeah. Hey, man. And uh, all type of 
uh, skulls and things like that, yeah. you're letting the world know you are evil heathen. That's right. Halloween is of the devil. That's right. Amen. Don't take your children out there the way things are now. Hmm. Even when I was a child, you had sick, crazy people. You know, in the 60s and 70s, heroin was the drug of choice. Mm -hmm. Well, it got so bad, and not only Philadelphia, but throughout America, that sick folk was taking heroin and injecting it in apples. Because, you know, in Halloween, they don't just give out candy. At, when you go to people's door, they give out apples also. Right. And they was injecting heroin in apples so uh, children can get high. Lord. And I remember after I became adult, there was, you know, the devil always wanted to lead you as a child to start something so you can continue it as an adult. You know, adults get tattoos, which is also of the devil, because the Bible tells you don't put no carving in your flesh. That's right. But as a child, or rather, I remember when they had tattoos for children, but you go to the store and you bought little things that not only that stamp you, but you lick it and then put it on you. It, was, it, it can wash off, but you lick it and put it on you, hold it. And then the child got a little tattoo. Well, I remember when uh, it came across the news where the news was warning parents not to allow your child to do it because men and foolish women got a hold of that and laced it with some type of narcotic. That way when the child licked it in the moment it touched their tongue and touched their arm, their skin absorbed it. And they instantly became addicted and in some cases, children died for, from it. Viewers, we're living in a wicked, evil, hell-bound time. That's right. You don't have time to waste your energy to get upset with me. I advise you to use your energy to get out your clothes and put on some other clothes and go down in water. After you repent of your sins and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and seek the Lord for the Holy Ghost. I'm warning you. Oh, yeah. I'm warning you. These wicked uh, satanic days that's observing the devil, Halloween, Christmas, and Easter, right. and all of this folly. That's right. Folly, I said. That's right. Listen at this now.